the total solar eclipse coming right here to Indiana, but we wanted to go over a couple places in Indiana which may be the best in order to see it. It's a two-part question. First off, we'll talk about what we definitely know. and These are the durations of how long you'll be in totality. You don't want to be along the edge. You want to be more towards the center of this swath. So the yellow lines show you the boundaries, the edges of totality. So the closer you are to the middle, the more duration that you're going to get. So when you're looking at all these numbers, for example, 349 in Indianapolis, that's three minutes, 49 seconds. But Vincennes, Indiana, we had the longest amount of totality in the whole Hoosier State, four minutes and five seconds. But when does it start? Well, Indiana gets a little complicated for time zones. But in southwest Indiana, we've got a start time at 2.02 p.m. there in Evansville, and then it ends at 2.05. Once we get out of central time or back into eastern time for the majority of central Indiana, Indianapolis starts at 3.06 and then ends at 3.09. It then starts to leave the state, heading into Ohio. So for Richmond, that would be about starting at 307, but ending at 311. So this is all set in stone. We can measure the moon and the sun angled, all that to produce these numbers. What we don't know exactly for sure yet will be the amount of clouds. You don't want any clouds blocking your view. You want as much clear sky as you can get in order to see it. So we look back over the past 30 years of cloud data at 3 p.m. Eastern time and take a look. We've got mostly clear chances back off towards the west and northwest and southwest of Indiana. Generally what we notice in mid-April is that instead of being the northern half of Indiana is pretty cloudy, the cloud mass starts to shift over towards Ohio and the Ohio River. So when you're looking at this scale, this is showing you mostly clear sky chances. So the darker blue areas show you places where there's a decent chance that we're mostly clear. Not a guarantee, but a decent chance when you look at some stats. The farther east you go, you got to watch out down to Richmond, uh, Connersville, Hagerstown, even getting into the east side of Indianapolis there towards Greenfield and even south towards Greenwood, we're in that 20% chance. It's a much lower chance of having mostly clear skies. But you never know, as we get closer, we'll have that forecast to see how many clouds are going to be in view and which counties could possibly be best in order to see that total solar eclipse.